This is my alternative to Sunday lunch, traditional Sunday roast. It's a much lighter uh, version. So what I need to do, first of all, is to take the chicken apart. Now, this is something, again, I was sort of introduced to working with, um, with Alistair Little, a uh, great chef in London. And Alistair was one of the sort of few people at the time who used to buy sort of whole animals. So we'd, we'd get whole chickens, whole ducks, um, big sort of carcasses of beef. And he'd utilise the lot and he'd show you sort of how to do it. So um, this is just a nice way of, um, of sort of presenting it, really. So I'm just going to whip the legs off. Um, I'm going to take the joints off there. Then I'm going to score down here through the spine and just tear it off. Now, what this also does is keep the chicken on the crown, um, which protects all that nice sort of under part of the chicken. Um, but it also cuts down on the cooking time because you're just concentrating on the breast. And what I need to do now is just to loosen the skin. So get your fingers under there and just very carefully take the skin away from the flesh. And then under there, I'm going to stuff some butter and some chives. So there's some softened butter there. That's unsalted butter, so just season it up a little bit. I became a chef. It was kind of... Um, by default, really, I was always wanting to go into the Air Force. I was learning to fly in college. But then cooking came along. I found flying just used to come up after an hour of flying with a spitting headache. And I used to go and relax by cooking for my housemates. And I had five other friends that we shared a house with. And that became more enjoyable. So in here, I've got um, just one clove of garlic, salt and pepper, lots and lots of butter. I'm going to chop up some chives. So when I decided to not go into the Air Force, I took a course at Leith's um, School of Food and Wine in London. And it was a year-long course, um, and I thought, it's quite expensive, so I thought, well, it's either going to sort of push me on a path that I'll enjoy, but if I didn't, if I decided not to do it, I'd come out and I'd still be able to cook well. So I thought, right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and learn how to cook. And then there was a couple of us who really wanted to get into restaurants. And so we had our own little sort of clique. And it was great, and I loved it. And it was probably one of the best um, years of my life, actually. And I used to love going off to restaurants and seeing sort of... It was quite a harsh environment. Um, so I was really pleased I did that. So lots of lemon in there, just the zest. And that's it. Give that a really good mix. Make sure it's green enough. And that's it, ready to go. So, there's no nice way about this. Shove the butter under there. And then just smooth it under the breast. And that is pretty much it. So then, season up. And then that'll go in the oven at about sort of 180 degrees, like most things for about 30 minutes, something like that, just until it's firm. So, after about sort of 25 minutes or so, here's your chicken, it's nice and firm to touch. Now, it's really, really important you let it rest and give it about sort of a good sort of five to 10 minutes. Okay, looks the part. Smells good, and it's going to be really nicely basted in all that um, that butter. So let's just carve it now. You can see the little green specks of chives underneath there. They're straight down the middle. Crunch through the bones. And then the best thing to do, best way to attack it, is just to remove that central spine. And then go from underneath. Make sure you lose the, uh, the wishbone. That makes life difficult to, to carve. And then I'm just going to sprinkle it in this sumac. The sumac is um, it's kind of a Middle Eastern spice. It's very, very zesty. It's quite powerful stuff, so just kind of throw it around a bit, and that'll be enough. And then let's just slice it up.
chicken on the board, and then you can pour over any juices that you can find in the pan. Just scrape off all the good-looking stuff. There's a little bit of fat in there, but it's all going to taste really, really good. It's all that butter and those chives. Love it. 